Okay, right now we're going to be factoring um, this trinomial. We're going to factor it into two different binomials. And we're going to be using the Berry method. And it's a little bit different, but uh, some people find it easier. So I'm going to do that one now. Okay, the first thing that we're going to do on this is we have to identify what our A, B, and C are. So A is 6. B is 1 in this case. It's not written, but there is a 1 there. And C is always our constant. That's our last term with no variable next to it. So the next thing that we want to do on this one is we want to multiply our A times C. So if we multiply 6 times negative 2 gives us negative 12. Okay. And we've got to figure out two numbers that multiply together to give us negative 12, but when you add them together give us a positive 1. So you need to kind of think about that for a second. Hopefully you found out that it was 4 and negative 3. Okay, now with this Berry method, we, we need to divide it into two binomials. So let's go ahead and we'll write those parentheses right now. And this is a part that's a little bit weird, a little bit unusual. We're going to write the first one as 6n. Where I'm getting this 6n is from my a term. My a term is 6, and I'm using the variables of n, so I'm just writing 6n into both of these. Now, inherently, we know that this is going to be wrong, because 6n times 6n would give me 36n squared, not 6n squared. But realize this is just a step. Once we get to a couple other steps down the process, then we'll, then we'll fix that problem that we've got. Now, we need our second term here. And the way that we're going to get our second term in each of those binomials is right here. We have a positive 4 and a negative 3. So I'm just going to write that in, and it does not matter what order you write them in. In fact, I'll write negative 3 plus 4. Again, it doesn't matter which order you write them in. Okay, now what we need to do is we need to look at each one of these individually. Is there a common term in this one that we can pull out? 6n and negative 3, well, a 3 goes into both of those. So if we were to take out a 3 out of both of those, that would leave me with 2n minus 1. Okay, now on the second one here, that one shares a 2 in common. So essentially we're going to take a 2 out of those, divided by 2 if you will, you can say that. Uh, that would leave me with 3n plus 2. Okay, now, believe it or not, that is your answer right here. Okay, when you're factoring these out, if we were to foil these two together, it would give us this original expression. Now, this 3 and this 2 just go away in this method. It's the way that we get rid of our 6's. Remember, if we had 6 times 6 gave us negative 30, or excuse me, gave us positive 36n squared. So that's how we kind of get rid of those. It's a reducing part. But anyway, that's the Berry method.